what the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language. What a he, waste of a villain. Yeah, he went he, out like a bitch, and <laughs> he was an insignificant why was there antagonist. Any blood when they cut his fucking throat? What was that? Today we're actually here to talk about Uncharted. Yes. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. We got a uh, director Ruben lost. Fleischer here on board. Who, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's done. <laughs> I don't even know the guy. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm terrible with names as it is, but that's all right. He did, uh, you know, he's he did one of the... Venom, Marvin. Yeah, but oh. but he's one of those directors. Dan, Dan hated got... it. <laughs> he's what? He's one of those directors where like he did Zombieland and Zombieland Two, which are both like really good movies in my opinion. And then the rest of his movies I don't really like so much. Gangster Squad is one of the worst movies I've ever seen, and it has like a 6.7 on IMDb, which is fairly oh. high. But that movie, whoo! When we do bad movie reviews, we should make that one of them. So when this movie was announced, I really had zero interest in it. Um, I'll be honest, and this I've gotten in trouble. I used to be in a Facebook group with some uh, people I met, um, and they were all like very big, like... Uh, you know, gamers, and that was, like, the, the point of the Facebook group. We talked about, like, hockey and, like, you know, music and video games, like, just mutual interest stuff. And um, at the time, I knew that, like, the Uncharted games were, like, super fucking popular. And I had never played them before. Uh, I finally had gotten, like, whatever, when they put out, like, the, um, you know, the remastered, like, series or whatever, I started playing through them, and I fucking just did not like... Really, any of them. I, I Uncharted, the last one, I think, was the best one, and, like, three, somewhat. But um, I just didn't like the games, and then one of the dudes in that Facebook group, like, flipped the fuck out on me. He's like, you talk shit about fucking everything, like, it's the truth. And I'm like, dude, like, I was just giving my opinion. Like, what do I have to fucking like everything? Like, I don't understand. Um, so, yeah. So I, I, I was just generally not a huge fan of the games. Um, Why not? I don't know. I just think... I think it's probably partly due to the fact that I played them. The gameplay, the story, you just played them too late? Like, Well, gameplay was definitely part of it, but I think it's probably to do with the fact that by the time I played them, the games had definitely, like, outlived their shelf life. Um, mm. Like, like Uncharted 1 is, like, you're literally just running in a linear path. Like, what was that game that used to be on uh, Apple, uh, the iPhone, where you're just, like, running, collecting <laughs> gems and shit, Temple Run or something? That's what that game felt like to me. And you're just literally murdering just hordes and hordes of people that by the end of the game, like, you've definitely racked up, like, a 24K kill count. And it's like, I don't know. It just took me out of it. Like, I get it. It's a video game and it's a flight from fantasy. But whenever you're killing, like, living, breathing people in a game, it just seems weird to me that, like, you wouldn't be mentally affected by that. <laughs> I mean, I know the movie was, like, some PG-13, like, bullshit or whatever, but... <laughs> I didn't really get that like bullshit. ruthless treasure hunter vibe. It was more like jungle booked. I didn't go into this movie with high expectations at all. I don't think anybody really did because like obviously video game movies have a very poor history. Um That's true. I don't even think there's one single exception where you could be like, no, nah, that, that video game movie was good. Uh, well, Resident Evil was the most successful, but there are a lot of haters mm. on that one. Those movies are dog shit though. They made Ooh. enough money to make like six of them, so but they does did money something right? Does money necessarily mean quality? Not always. No, uh, the Justice League not. made a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Um, it wasn't the Snyder Cut, right, Dan? Yeah. Hey, kid. Uh, we are introduced to a Nathan Drake, who is played by Tom Holland, and oh boy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of this casting, to be perfectly honest. I know that like a lot of fans of the game were kind of annoyed because there was this fan film that uh, was going around for a while where Nathan Fillion, who looks just like Nathan Drake in the game, played him. I never watched it, but apparently this fan film was like really good. Fellas. Nathan Drake. It's great. Yeah. So there was a little bit of a... Uh, you know, problem there for people. Um, I just think, obviously, they went out and hired Tom Holland because, you know, he's coming Big off shot. of Marvel fame, right? So mm -hmm. that's how they're going to fill seats um, and bridge the gap between, like, general movie-going audiences who know about Spider-Man and Marvel but don't necessarily know about the Uncharted games. And we got uh, 
Marky Mark Wahlberg as uh, Sully <laughs> Sullivan, <laughs> Victor Sullivan. But um, <laughs> yeah, he was all right. I don't mind him as like casting. I know Dusty, you had some problems with that. Is there everything in here. Why the map? This the path that Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five yeah, years. he was the worst cast than uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland actually what? did okay as Nathan Drake. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mark Wahlberg was way off base. Like they wanted Mark Wahlberg as Nathan Drake ten years ago, and they—I don't know. I guess they just decided, like, hey, let's just use him as Victor Sullivan now that he's old. But there were way better, like uh, Bruce Campbell. Shop S Mart. You got that? Would have been a better Victor Sullivan, or I even think Johnny Knoxville would have been a better Victor Sullivan. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I have gas. And when the game started, he's like, he's he's basically your um, somewhat fit, mid-30s, average Joe kind of a guy that finds mm -hmm. out that he has a past and he goes on this adventure and he's he's fit enough to get through it. And Sully is supposed to be like the old, like the journeyman type uh, what, Hold a up teacher a second. guy. You're saying fit. This man it has... <laughs> the craziest upper body strength <laughs> in the video games. Like you're just never yeah, not well, swinging or hanging or fucking shimmying from just the most ridiculous situations. Fit it's is even not the more ridiculous form. in the movie, Dan. <laughs> oh, We've yeah. got the cargo plane with the, the boxes and the crates hanging on by the cargo nets. Yep. And yeah. in the game, you're like barely struggling. Like you're barely pulling yourself along. And in the movie, like he's jumping from crate to crate like yeah. he's fucking Spider-Man. Like, what is gravity? What the fuck <laughs> is gravity? Yes, what thank you. Like, what? But you know, I will say the CGI was tolerable for me compared to that Catwoman shit I was <laughs> obsessing over in the last <laughs> episode. Uh, I felt the CGI was tolerable. He is quickly recruited by Sully to recover a uh, Ferdinand Magellan fortune that's been lost for like 500 years. Um, which is where we're introduced to Antonio Banderas, who's the villain of the film, I guess you could say. He's basically um, question trying... Question mark? Question mark, sure. <laughs> what a he, waste of a villain. He yeah, went he, out like a bitch, and... <laughs> he was an insignificant why was there antagonist. Why was blood when they cut his fucking throat? What was that? Well, it's PG-13, Marvin, you can't show blood. Shit. You Him can't and show Nathan blood. met for all of six seconds, and then he was nothing else but a plot device the entire movie. Like, what the... He, yeah. he, it, yeah. it was the worst villain ever. So, and they had the nerve to show him more than once and up close. <laughs> so essentially, uh, you know, Antonio Banderas, this is his family fortune, apparently, and he's trying to recover it. So, of course, he's in competition with Sully and Nathan. And um, we have a third um, person in the mix, the Say character of Chloe. Oh, Chloe. I thought you were going to... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. Chloe is basically a friend of Sully, or I'm sorry, Sully doesn't have friends. I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know. I'm one of them. Except for her. <laughs> so she's a friend of Sully, and uh, she's helping them. Essentially, the treasure um, needs to be unlocked with like these three keys that are like crosses Two or keys. whatever. Two keys. Sorry. Two keys. She yeah. has one of them, Sully has the other. So, of course, they have to work together. And we quickly find out that she has been uh, double-crossing them. She wants the treasure for um, herself. Bum, bum, bum. And uh, we do have a That's fourth... That's just Chloe doing Chloe things from the game. And we have a fourth character here, uh, Braddock, who yes. is basically uh, Antonio Banderas' like, scorned uh, like general. Like She's like the head of his like fucking group of like bad people and then uh she double crosses him and she's the one who does the throat slicing that you mentioned and then she takes over the operation for herself yes. very standard um very standard plot when we were watching it together dusty um you you really had a problem i remember with like the casting and you touched on it earlier i don't really think the casting is that big of a deal i would have probably liked to see somebody other than tom holland in the role because i don't really think he had like, he never really had that like Nathan Drake personality to me. He was mostly just Tom Holland. Like he didn't do anything different than what he does in Spider Man. Um, I did think, however, I really liked his uh, chemistry with um, uh, 
uh, Marky Mark there. I think they had. I think they were able to play off each other pretty well. You're just threatening to kill me. Don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. <laughs> I thought the jokes were pretty good. For what he was given, like he could, you know, writing, directing, you could blame it on whatever it was. But he did the most apropos job. Uh, Sol Victor Sullivan, Sully, he, uh, I, he frustrated me to no end because <laughs> he. he he backstabbed Nathan Drake, and that's not something he does in the game. Like he's he like I like I said, he's that journeyman apprentice type character, and he's he's definitely always looking out for himself in the games, but not at um not at the expense of fucking stabbing Nate in the dra in the back. So right. I don't like he I don't know I just the way they portray that character was uh, it was annoying, and the person that played it not a fan. Like Mark Wahlberg's been in some good movies. Uh, he's played some good characters, but he was not the right person to play Victor Sullivan, and I think that was <laughs> terrible, and that's what ruined the f movie for me. Yeah, he seemed like such a fucking boomer. My favorite was probably Braddock, to be honest. I thought she was a pretty good villain. Yeah, um, she was. She's also she also was a bad bitch, and even though her hair was giving me like some like lunch lady hairnet vibes <laughs> or like ramen noodles, I don't know what the fuck was going on with that, but. <laughs> Overall, I think she she was probably my favorite out of all of them. I don't uh I don't think I actually have a favorite. I don't I don't know. I didn't really care. Didn't care enough. Yeah. Yeah. No. That and that's like basically like how I feel about this movie overall. Like I went into it with very low expectations. Um I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was pretty fun for the most part. Um I again I tried to disconnect myself from the games which I didn't like to begin with so like I don't really have like a love affair with them where I'm like god damn it this is outrageous <laughs> um but yeah I think it was just like it was just like a like a decently fun like action movie and that's what's disappointing about it is because this is like a it, it felt like what's that what was that uh that rock movie that he did with Gal, 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 Red the Red Notice Oh, so yeah. it was the yeah, rock yeah, yeah. and Galda. that felt like just like a let's just take these big a-list actors let's throw them together let's make an action movie we're gonna have some quips we're gonna have some action it's gonna be funny mm. it'll make some money like right, that's right. what this felt like and for the fans that have been playing these games for 15 the face, almost 20 years it definitely feels like a slap in the face of like yeah we we've been trying to make this movie for 10 years and so much changed like we're just going to go with Mark Wahlberg and uh, Tom Holland because they're big and we can make a story work. Like it feels like they had, they had the right pieces to make a great movie, but uh, right. Yeah. Just, I can I see the disappointment there. Yeah. Like, I guess that's why I'm glad I'm just a filthy casual when it comes to everything because <laughs> I have no expectations and I'm just like, Oh yeah, this is great. I could just, I just enjoy this. You know, I mean, listen, right. you got the right idea. You know, <laughs> I talked about last time we, we spoke about Batman I, that like I'm the hype train conductor. So like, <laughs> yeah. I'm always fucking disappointed. At least you don't have to deal with that. Right. That's true. Yeah. Um, and you think you could be a treasure hunter or too many spiders stop you from getting to the bag? Yeah. I think once like big ass spiders get involved, <laughs> I think I'm out or I'll hire like some peons from like Indiana Jones or like even in the mummy, you know how they were like the peons that get like the fucking trap gas oh, to the yeah. face and shit. I'll hire some dudes like that to fucking, <laughs> deal with the spiders and then i'll you know yeah we'll just deal with them after and take yeah. the treasure for myself um was was anybody else about any curses spiders? curses i could deal with not spiders mm. oh, okay <laughs> the curses that's the scary curse part. gold i don't believe you know, in curses so spider. they don't exist no, <laughs> i got the power of uh non-belief on my side right where i rate this as far as from a video game standard uh, this is a terrible movie. It did not give uh, any good credence. Like they had Easter eggs, they pulled some stuff from the movies, they tried to twist some stuff from the movies. But um, if you're a video game fan, you're not. You're, you're probably not going to enjoy it unless you're a kid and you're replaying the remasters. But if you grew up playing them, you're not going to like it. If you're if you've never played the video games and you're just a casual moviegoer, you'll probably enjoy it because it's a good action flick and you know it's just like a summer popcorn blockbuster. But, yeah. Uh, if you're a fan of the franchise, like you're invested in playing as Nathan Drake, and y you may be let down. I was sure. for sure. What's your rating then? Give us the rating. Uh, I would give it a f five at best. Wow. Because I'm trying to like cross between <laughs> video game fanatic and just average okay. movie goer. I would just just give it a five. So you're trying to be like 
nice to both audiences. Yes. All right, that's cool. Marvin? I'm giving it a seven. Whoa. Uh, no it standards. Was enjoyable. I laughed. <laughs> uh, a lot of There was some good quipping. Moments. Like uh, when Nathan took his phone, he had all the apps open. He's like, Tinder? <laughs> yeah, I own that. Like, who the fuck yeah. says that? That was some boomer ass shit from Victor, but I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I don't know. This movie just kind of left me feeling nothing. Similar <laughs> to the Batman. Like, I, I enjoyed watching Like, I didn't have a bad time watching it. Um, but that being said, like, there was really nothing in the movie that, like, really stood out to me where I was like, wow, that's fucking awesome or that was cool. Like, you know, yeah. th like you said, there were moments where it was funny. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's win because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? <laughs> I did like the di I did like a lot of the like, dialogue and chemistry between the two of them, but like it was nothing like you know, it wasn't anything mind blowing. Plot wise, it was like pretty standard like treasure huntery plot, like you know, fight True. bad guys. There's a there's a double crossing that's like you could have predicted from a fucking million miles away, even if you didn't <laughs> play the games. Find the treasure, then they lose the treasure, and then whoop! I got a little bit of treasure left over. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I would give it probably like a six. I don't know. Yeah. That's our thoughts on Uncharted. Anything, anything else you guys want to say before we uh, skedaddle? I think that's I, it. I honestly have nothing really to say about this movie other than what I said. So I don't know. That's that's no, like nothing about this movie. No. Oh crap! What's up, people? Dan here. Just to remind you that if you enjoyed the video, to please go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps us out, and uh, it lets us know that we're doing an okay job. If you want to be notified for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and if you're feeling extra spicy, hit that little bell button down below. Give it a little, give it a little tickle. <laughs>